then of course, there is the crown jewel of Sephardic Spain, Toledo. This tempting city lies a mere 44 miles from Madrid, another quick jaunt on Spain's high-speed rail. Toledo was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1986 for its extensive cultural, monumental heritage and the historical coexistence of Christian, Jewish, and Muslim cultures. The city of Toledo, the city is an example of coexistence of the three cultures. The stunning city of Toledo boasts the River Tajo on three sides. And at the highest point of the city, Toledo's Alcazar, or castle, looks protectively over this historic town. Now, having served as the capital of Spain until the mid-16th century, Toledo retains multiple monuments that depict majestic medieval yet heterogeneous architecture of the Spanish Golden Era, impacted by adherents of the three Abrahamic faiths who resided here during the Middle Ages. Está muy colonizada y sabe que Toledo fue una ciudad que tuvo las tres culturas y la gente, claro, está sensibilizada y quiere saber, claro. The narrow streets, surrounded by Romanesque and Gothic buildings, give the feeling that you have been transported back to the 15th century when Don Isaac Abrabanel, one of the most prominent Sephardic Jewish figures, walked the streets of this city during that golden era on the Iberian Peninsula. And while all three faiths feel an affinity towards Toledo, it is undeniable that Toledo has developed into the beating heart of Sephardic Spain, where a Jewish presence has been documented since the time of the Visigoths and possibly as early as the second century of the Common Era. Tengo que decir que para muchos, para muchos, Toledo es la Jerusalén de Occidente. Toledo es la capital de la España judía en el momento en que se, en se decretó la expulsión de los judíos. Y por tanto, estaban, Toledo está en el corazón de, la, de España y está en el corazón del mundo judío. De manera que yo no entendería ni la historia de la ciudad de, de la que soy alcalde, ni la historia de España, y probablemente tampoco la historia del mundo judío sin Sefarat. Now, when Jews lived in Toledo prior to the Inquisition, the jewelry of Toledo has been conceived as a city within the city. In fact, that city within a city included a gate designated for Toledo's Jewish citizens. And that gate, La Puerta del Cambrón, in its grand Renaissance style, still stands today and serves as the city's only gate open to motor vehicles. Inside the city gate, the established Jewish community played such a significant role in Toledo, it was often called the Jewish city. And the Jewish communities of Sephardic Spain during the Middle Ages remained incredibly tight knit. Somos en pleno barrio de la judería en Toledo. Son todo este barrio está lleno de túneles de comunicación que los judíos habilitaban para poder comunicarse de casa en casa y poder ir hacia las sinagogas. Es ese sentido que tiene estos túneles. And for several years, Jose Serrano and his family have been paying homage to those former Jewish residents of Toledo. Eh, estos sótanos los habilitamos en mi familia hace muchos años, cinco generaciones, y en ellos exponemos nuestros trabajos de cerámica, porque todas estas piezas son hechas en nuestra casa. Son reproducciones de diferentes épocas, desde el siglo XIII hasta el siglo XVIII. Now, unlike some Spanish cities, evidence of Toledo's Jewish quarter plainly exists today, with frequent identifiers literally paved into the streets and sidewalks. The street Calle de Samuel Levy, for whom a major Toledo synagogue had been named, is clearly marked. That synagogue, also known as Sinagoga del Transito, still stands today. While the outside facade may appear modest, the interior grand rectangular prayer room is filled with magnificent plaster work adorning the walls. The west wall is decorated with exquisite Hebrew inscriptions. The ceiling offers one of the finest examples of medieval carpentry. And inside this synagogue, the Toledo Sephardic Museum, which carefully documents and preserves the rich legacy of the Spanish Jewish culture. 
Displaying relics from the Roman era to the time of the expulsion, the museum is filled with unique Sephardic Jewish artifacts, some beautifully gilded religious items indigenous to the region, others returned to the region from Israeli and North African museums. And then there is... With the marvelous synagogue of Santa Maria la Blanca, Ah yes, known originally as the new synagogue of Yosef ben Shoshan, the synagogue of Santa Maria de la Blanca, erected in 1180, is believed to be the oldest still standing synagogue in all of Europe. It was functioning as the main synagogue in the 1300s and, um, you know, and in the 1200s. Too. Here, this was turned into a church before 1492 because okay. of one of the conflicts that there was here. <laughs> one of them, I'd say a program from 1411. So while Jews may not be living in Toledo today, Toledo is reaching out to world Jewry. Trying to bridge and make people yes. come and learn and uh, what was what happened here. Like a sign of free love from the church to the Jewish people. Also Toledo is and Toledo represents the vision of home in the memory of the Sephardic communities of the diaspora. And for that reason, Spain invites you to come home, whether Ashkenazi or Sephardic, whether Mizrahi or Romaniote, Spain invites you to discover, to rediscover what continues to capture the imagination of Jews and non-Jews around the world. Spain is not just our country, it is also emotionally yours.